let us try to solve this question there are two charges 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb and minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb located 15 centimeter apart at what point on the line joining the two charges is the potential zero take the potential at infinity to be zero that is how we have been calculating okay the convention is that potential at infinity is zero fine now we have say this as 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulombs and this charge as minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb and the distance between them is is 15 centimeters okay now 15 centimeter is equal to 15 upon 100 which is 0.15 meters that is the first thing now try to understand one thing okay though though the formula itself will will tell you many things still see this magnitude this is negative this is positive had they both been positive then there is no question they will sum up to zero correct because it is it is a scalar addition and two positives will never for a positive charge, you'll always have the potential as positive, so uh, so that will never sum to zero. The very fact that there is a negative charge here tells me that at some point, at some point, at some point, the potential will sum to zero. Though though that seems irrelevant right now seems irrelevant right now still try to understand that that point will be closer to this you know why because the the weakness in the magnitude of the charge is compensated by the nearness from the charge you know we, we know that v is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q upon r so either you increase q or reduce r both the cases you will be increasing the v so this will be nearer to q but that does not matter it does not matter because because of the reason that it will it will be the formula that will take that into account correct so let that point be say p then V at P, I am saying potential at P denoted by VP that is equal to that is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into Q that is 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 divided by 0.15 minus x correct plus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 <coughs> upon x and this is supposed to be 0 so this is 0 0 is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into 10 to the power minus 8 so I get 3 upon 0 0.15 minus x plus or, or minus 2 by x this is minus 8 so this vanishes or, or you can say if the product is 0 then this cannot be 0 so this has to be 0 so it is actually 3 upon 0 0.15 minus x minus 2 upon x which is equal to 0 so that gives me 3 upon 0 0.15 minus x is equal to 2 upon x so if I cross multiply then 3x is equal to 0.3 minus 2x or 5x is equal to 0.3 so so x is equal to 0.3 upon 5 yes 
point three upon five that is equal to point zero six meters. So x has to be nine cent has to be six centimeters, right? Which is six centimeters. So p is six centimeters away from this. Now the moment we see that they are located this and what at what point on the line joining the two charges is the potential zero, the only thing that strikes us is somewhere here. On the line that joins, that line extends to the right, it extends to the left. Understand? Do we understand that? Now just try to think. If I come to this side, then it will be always nearer to the stronger charge. No? But x has a unique value, so... No, who says it has a, it has a unique value? Then this is only at this point. No. Because, because we have not... We, we fixed it here, so it is telling you about that. It, it is it is it is for this that's what that's your trouble it will give you the answer for wherever you fix it it will not start giving you so so what happens just try to understand just try to understand Just try to understand. On this side, it is not possible for you to get potential equal to zero. Why? Why? Because the charge, the magnitude of the charge is higher. Q is higher and R is smaller. Okay. Here, this is this is weaker. Q is weaker and R is greater. So this will never be able to match this. The potential due to this point here will always be greater than potential due to this point here, magnitude wise. So their subtraction just cannot be 0. So to the left of 3 into 10 to the minus 8 coulomb, it is not possible. But to the right of it, it is possible. Okay. So let us say, let us say this point is Q, which is X away from here. Then it is, 0.15 plus x away from here. Okay, so so I am talking about at point Q. At point P. While writing your answers, it should be pretty demarcated like this, right? What you are trying to do. At point Q, hmm? no, that is fine. But but from here it should it should reflect potential at Q, which is V Q, is equal to is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught epsilon naught three into ten to the power minus eight divided by 0.15 plus x plus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 divided by x. And this potential is 0. 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught 10 to the power minus 8 3 upon 0.15 plus x plus 1 upon x. Minus, minus 2 into 10. So it is minus 1 upon x. Minus 2 minus 2. Minus 2. Now what happens? Th this is, this cannot be 0, so this has to be 0. Or, or you can say that this divides here and becomes 0. So I get 3 upon 0 0.15 plus x. Minus 2 upon x is equal to 0. So 3 upon 0.15. 1 5 plus x is equal to 2 by x so that is 3x is equal to 2 into 
पॉइंट वन फाइव प्लस एक्स तो थ्री एक्स इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट थ्री प्लस टू एक्स तो एक्स इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट थ्री सो इट इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल दैट थर्टी सेंटीमीटर टू द टू द राइट ऑफ एट यू गेट द सेम थिंग ओके देफोर एट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम टू माइनस टू इंटू टेन द पावर माइनस एट कुलम ऑन द और और आई शुड से इन बिटवीन द चार्जेस एंड सेकेंड एट थर्टी सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम माइनस टू इंटू टेन द पावर माइनस एट कुलम टू द राइट ऑफ माइनस टू इंटू टेन द पावर माइनस एट कुलम जीरो एट राइट दीज टू पॉइंट फाइन Yes, you'll have to write. You'll have to give that reason that to the left it is not possible because the value of Q is greater and the distance is lower. Okay. So six is not a normal. So so the potential due to this will always be greater than the potential due to due to the potential uh, due to this, and hence it will never be able to. Or if you take it, then then you'll get a weird value of x. Do that. In fact, do that. and you'll get an interesting thing let us say this is y okay so i am saying that uh, this is r okay p q r so v r is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 divided by by y minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 divided by Point one five plus y. So, so ten to the power minus eight also comes out. So you actually get zero is equal to three upon y minus two upon point one five plus y. So you actually get two upon point one five plus y is equal to three upon y, right? So you get two y is equal to point four five plus three y. So you get y is equal to minus point four five. It is so hugely interesting. It says you took y here as positive. It says no, y is negative. So what it does, it says no, don't come to this side. You go this side. Where forty five centimeters. If you go forty-five centimeter to the right, you actually become, you actually travel this fifteen centimeter and go thirty centimeter to the right of it, and that is the beauty of the equations. Yeah, you can also do that. Why does not six come anywhere else except that nine centimeter? Six. Because you have taken it to be in between, no. that is unique see that is unique in between you have taken this as 0.15 minus x right actually it is not getting a chance to become quadratic due to due to this becoming zero okay otherwise if it was a quadratic Then it would have given you both the values in one go. Point four five and x potential is one. If you would have put say one volt here or whatever, if it was not zero, 
then this would have become a quadratic and then it would have reflected both the values in one go straight away okay we have to calculate both